Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the number one thing that took me from being a unprofitable trader who is blowing accounts left, right and center to somebody who is able to pass their accounts, get payouts and most importantly, run a trading community that on average generates around 10% every single month. So in this video, I'm going to give you a breakdown of every single trade that we took within the VIP group just this week. And the number one thing that has helped me generate consistent income from the forex markets and how you can start to replicate that to make consistent income for yourself too so in this video you're going to learn how profitability lies on the other side of consistency and why it's so powerful to simply just stick to the trading plan that you have and simply stick to that one strategy that you've back tested learned understood instead of getting this shiny object syndrome which drives you to find a new strategy every single time you come on a losing streak so in this video, you'll learn how throughout this whole week, we faced losses at the start, but then throughout the week, we persistently traded the same strategy and we ended the week positive. So if you do enjoy this video, then please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video so you guys can understand the power of consistency. So we're kicking things off on a Tuesday because on Monday we had no trade. Now the reason for this is because we had a lot of things happening over the weekend. Now on Friday we had unemployment, JP stayed stagnant with the interest rates, we had all of the geopolitical factors that we've got going on around the world. Not only that but we've also got the carry trade happening with the yen. So a ton of things happened and the stock market, the crypto market, they all just crashed. So because of this on Monday we decided not to trade at all. Now. That is kind of fitting with the trading plan because when there's uncertainty in the markets, you don't really want to be trading because there's no real direction, right? You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if the markets are suddenly going to start to skyrocket or if they're just going to fall off a cliff. So based on the uncertainty, we decided not to trade and we moved on to Tuesday. This is when we had our first trade of the week. And as you can see, it was a NAS buy limit. Now, as you can tell by the red X at the bottom, this trade was actually a loss. So let's jump onto the charts so we can take a look at exactly why we ended up taking this trade. So first and foremost, I'm going to replay the chart right here and we're going to jump up to the hourly to understand what's actually going on in the market. So as we can see, price was on a steep decline. This is what happened over the weekend. Stock market indices cryptos, everything collapsed, right? So the market pushed aggressively to the downside. And then upon Monday, our market opened, we kind of started to have some sort of pullback, right? We started to retrace upwards. We broke structure to the upside, we put in this higher high, had a little retracement, put in this higher low, again, broke structure to the upside and put in this higher high. And then we had this retracement into this area of demand. So then based off of this area of demand, we woke up and we had a sweep of our Asia lows right here. And then we had a push into this area of demand. So not only did we take this liquidity, but we also ended up in our area of interest. So if we identify structure, we can see that we had this higher high up here, higher low, higher high, higher low. And then from here, price went on to break structure to the upside, giving us a brand new higher high. So then from here, we had a little retracement, and then we were expecting a continue of the new pro trend, which has just been put in. And that was our anticipation behind this trade. So this is when I sent this trade into the VIP group and I let everyone know that I was going to be getting into a NAS buy. And then we had the limit set like this. So if I play price on, we can see that price comes, taps us into this trade. Beautiful, right? And then from there, it just decides to start pushing up. So we kind of start consolidating for a while. We push a little bit lower and then unfortunately price takes us out. So the first trade that we had of the week ended up being a loss. We got swept, but then annoyingly price then decides to run straight to the take profit. Now, as annoying as that is, it's good to know that our bias was correct. Now it's unfortunate that we got liquidated right here. If I had foreseen that, then, you know, I would have waited for this liquidation event. Then I would have taken this market structure shift into this area of interest. And then that would have been a much nicer trade. But this isn't something that we can predict, right? We followed our trading plan, which again is the number one key to becoming a consistently profitable trader. So we stuck to the plan. We practiced good risk management and 
that's pretty much it. I followed my plan, I followed my trading strategy, I didn't over risk, didn't over leverage, and I let it play out. Now, I didn't revenge trade, I could have continued to get back into this trade right here, but my cutoff period for trading is at 3 p.m. And as we can see, this market structure shift happened exactly at 3 p.m. So by this time, I've already left my trading desk and I'm no longer interested in what the market is doing. Whoa, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to say a massive thank you to every single person that has supported me over the last nine months. And I appreciate every single person that likes, comments and subscribes to this channel because every single video I post is to help everyone who's new to the trading scene to avoid the pitfalls that I went through over my journey to a consistently profitable trader. So now that I've hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, I wanted to do this special 20% off discount to the VIP group just as an appreciation to every single one of you that has supported me. So if you click that link down in the description, that will take you to the VIP page that will have the 20% discount already applied. So I hope you guys can take this token of appreciation and I'll catch you guys inside the VIP group. So again, this just solidifies the fact that in order to become a consistently profitable trader, you have to stick to your plan. So moving back on to understanding what happened this entire week, the first trade we had, we got liquidated, unfortunately, price ran to our take profit, but so be it, right? It happens. So the first trade we took this week ended up being a loss. So we've left Tuesday alone, we've accepted the loss, we're down 1%, we're moving on to Wednesday. Now again, as you can see by the big red X, this was a losing trade as well. So come Wednesday, we had a losing trade on US 30. So let's quickly move over to US 30 and see what happened on that trade. First things first, I identified the hourly candle at 12 o'clock, which is my lunch hour candle. Now, the next thing I'm waiting for is a sweep of either side and then a continuation trade, exactly the same as the Judah swing strategy, but this is just based off of the lunch hour candle. And all I'm simply waiting for is for price to give us a sweep and then a market structure shift, exactly the same as the Judas swing. So we can see that right here, we get a sweep of that lunch hour candle low. From there, price is pushed down, giving us a lower high, lower low. We're waiting for a break of this right here. Price is consolidating for a while. Right there, price then gives us this beautiful impulsive move to the upside, giving us that market structure shift. And right here, I let everyone know that I'm jumping into a US 30 buy. As soon as I say that, we're entered into the trade. Everyone has executed their buys. Price has come back to give us an entry right there. Bang, we're in. And then price starts to push away. You know, it's looking like a really good trade. Price then gets very close to our take profit, as we can see right there. Price is very, very close. We're pushing, pushing. And then price decides to turn around on us. <laughs> and then we take the stop loss. So now we're down 2% for this week. But the entire point of this video is to tell you the number one thing that is gonna make you into a consistently profitable trader, and that is that you have to stick to your plan. Now, if I take a loss, I'm done, I'll keep it moving. If I take a win, I'm done, I'll keep it moving. So by now, anyone who's taken two losses consecutively is probably going to start doubting themselves. They're probably going to start thinking, oh, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I'm doing that wrong. Maybe I need to change my strategy or maybe whatever. No, you don't. All you need to do is stick to your trading strategy. Now, I've back tested all of these strategies for countless amounts of data. I've got, you know, over three years worth of data. And that tells me that this is a consistently profitable trading strategy. So, yes, I'm going to take losses. And yes, I'm going to go through losing streaks. But at the end of it all, I'm going to come out profitable. So we keep it moving. We come to Thursday and on Thursday we had a GU sell limit. On the hourly, we can see that price is pretty much consolidating in this area of interest. This is in the overall daily leg. We've, we've retraced to an extreme within that range up and we're now consolidating within this zone. Now we go up to the 15 minute and what we can see is that price was consolidating. We had this push out and then we've just put in a brand new higher high. So now our anticipation is that we're gonna get a higher low and then a continuation to the upside. So we were looking for short positions to take price to the higher low. We understood that price is tapping into an area of supply from where we should anticipate a higher low and then we're gonna get the continuation higher. So the next thing we did is we waited for a sweep of the Asia high. 
and right here we got this beautiful sweep of the Asia high. Now from there, we were waiting for a market structure shift. So if we see, we had this higher high, higher low, higher high, and then price came down, broke this previous higher low, and it gave us this lower low. Now this means that we've had a market structure shift, and now we can safely start taking a trade into a lower high and then a continuation lower to our target areas. So now once we've had this market structure shift, I've now gone into the Discord and I've told everyone that I'm going to be getting into this GU sell limit. Here's the stop loss, here's the take profit. So if we go down to the one minute, my entry was based off of this order block right here, which actually ended up leading to the market structure shift. Then our stop loss was just above the high. So around an 11 pip stop loss. And then we were targeting the Asia lows for a one to 2.3 risk to reward trade. So once we've identified all of this, I've then sent the trade into the VIP group. And then from there, if I play price on, we can see that price dips down, comes straight back up, taps us into that trade. So now we've been entered it goes into a little bit of drawdown, gets close to our stop loss, but then again, we're just sticking to our plan. We're not interfering with this trade. And as we can see, price then plummets straight to our take profit. So price pushed away, came back, put us into a little bit of drawdown, but then we had that rally straight down to our take profit. And as we can see on Thursday, we hit TP for a full 2.3% gain on the account. So now let's just quickly recap. We started off on Monday with no trade. Tuesday, we took a loss. Wednesday, we took a loss. So we're down 2% for the week. Come Thursday, we've taken our first win of the week, giving us 2.3% gain on the account. So now, not only have we come out of drawdown, so we're no longer minus 2%, we're now back in profit by 0.3%. So what did we do? Did we change anything? No. All we did is stuck to our trading plan. We didn't deviate and go off and try to find a brand new strategy because this one we've taken a loss on and oh, we've had two losses. No, none of that matters. Stick to your trading strategy. You wanna be consistent, stick to your trading strategy. You wanna make money from the markets consistently, stick to your trading strategy. It's as simple as that. But to further solidify what I'm saying, not only did we take a take profit of 2.3% on GU on the Thursday, but we continued with the exact same trading strategy as I preach about in all of my videos. And this morning, we ended up seeing this NAS sell that we ended up taking together, that this ended up being a win. So this was a plus 1.4% gain on the account. So we started off the week with no trade, two losses. Then yesterday, we ended up coming into profit by 0.3%. And then today, we're now in profit and we've made 1.7% for the week. And we didn't change anything, we just stuck to our trading plan. So let's quickly understand why we took this trade. So for that, we're gonna go up on the timeframes and we're gonna come up to the hourly. Now, first of all, we can see that the Wednesday high was never swept and then price came up and swept this this morning. And then not only that, but then the new high that we put in this morning at midnight, we then actually ended up going and taking out this daily high too. So not only have we taken out Wednesday's high, we've taken out Thursday's high too. So that is giving me the indication that price is probably going to give us some sort of pullback, some sort of retracement. So from there, we are now looking to execute a short position. So exactly the same as every single other trade that we've taken, every single trade that I preach about on this channel, we had a sweep of the Asia highs. As soon as we've had that sweep of the Asia highs, we've understood our structural points. We've got our higher low right here. Price then breaks that to the downside, giving us a market structure shift, giving us a lower low. Price then retraces into our area of interest and then we ride it down to our targets, which is the Asia lows. Stop loss was just above the Asia high, targeting the Asia lows, and it was nice and simple. Little bit of drawdown, and then just a straight rally to take profit. Again, reiterating the fact that I've been speaking about this entire video, did I change anything? No. What did I do? Simply follow my trading plan. And after following my trading plan, yes, I started off the week with a few losses, but I've ended the week with a plus 1.7% gain on the account. And that's a wrap. So I hope you guys understood how sticking to one strategy 
sticking to your trading plan is going to help you become a consistently profitable trader because yes, you're going to take losses. Yes, you're going to have times when you go through a losing streak, but that shouldn't be a deterrent for you to then turn around and start getting shiny object syndrome and trying to go out and find all of these other strategies. When you found one strategy, you've backtested it, you've understood it, and you've got the data to tell you that it's a profitable strategy, what's the point of trying to find more, right? Stick to the strategy, be consistent. Yes, you're gonna go through the losing phases, but when you do, just go back to your data. Look at the data and be like, oh look, over a long-term horizon, I'm gonna win more than I'm gonna lose. So why am I now trying to find another strategy? It doesn't make sense. So I hope this video showed you how just sticking to a strategy is gonna make you money in the long run. Maybe it might not make you money every single day, but over the long run, it will make you more money than you lose. And with trading, with prop firms, it doesn't take a whole lot to make more money than your current job does, which in turn can help you quit that job. So just find a strategy, back test it, collect the data, stick to it, and I guarantee you, you're gonna be profitable over a long term. So profitability simply lies on the other side of consistency. So I hope this video showed you all of that. And if it did, then please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video.